Hey there lads and ladies, this is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk about PokerStars VR in my brand new shoebox room which I've got going on here, that's why things are looking a bit bootleg, I've moved house, I'm in a new location for my safety, for my family's safety. Uh, people were starting to track me down from my controversial opinions on Firewall Ultra, they've been haunting me down, basically Pavlov fanboys, Alvo fanboys contractor fanboys breed questicles in general you know they hate what i've been saying about firewall and they want to put an end to it basically but i've moved to a secure location i moved my family and we're doing okay but that will explain hopefully the kind of rough nature of this video i'm looking at it here i don't have the green screen set up i don't know where the camera positioning is going to be uh, everything is kind of all up in the air right now but I did want to make a quick video to test the acoustics of the shoebox. I feel like it's a bit echoey right now or something, so I'm interested to see what that shows up as in a video. Also right now to test out my current bootleg internet situation to see what kind of upload speeds I can be expecting. Stuff like that. But of course, also to get a bit of activity on the channel because as I've been moving house, I have been unable to make content. And it's all about that sweet, sweet content. So, you know, this video will help with the algorithms as well, I suspect. And of course, if you can hear children in the background, please remember your house could be haunted with the spirits of deceased children and maybe it's not coming through my, your speakers, it could be coming through your real life surroundings. Let's talk about Poker Stairs VR, which is an enigma wrapped in a mystery inside of a complexity. Complexity was not the correct word there to use, but I used it anyway. Basically, Poker Stars Viewer is a poker game, as you can guess. It has already released on Quest and PC Viewer too, I suspect, or imagine. It's been on other viewer platforms that we don't care about over here in PS Viewer land. Like a year or two ago, it was supposed to come to PS Viewer 1. Um, it appeared, it was listed on the PlayStation Store, I believe. They said it was common, I believe. And then they kind of just disappeared, nothing was said about us, and we were all left, you know, a little bit disappointed that we didn't have this pretty cool poker game. And while I do like poker itself, you know, the, the aspect I was really looking forward to in a game like Poker Stars is the social aspect. It's the same with games like Werewolves Within. Uh, to a big degree, I would say Pavlov as well is a very social game, especially with the, the kind of wackier modes the terrorist, trouble in terrorist town specifically, a lot of fun there. And that's all down to the social aspect of that game, which I believe, you know, is a perfect fit for virtual reality. That's the kind of genre, like along with horror, social is also really enhanced by virtual reality because you feel like the people that you're playing with are there with you in a space. So anyway, Poker Stars never came to PSVR 1 and then I believe it got listed again for PSVR 2 this time where the developers of Poker Stars says, no, it's not coming to PSVR 2 anytime soon. And then what happened yesterday? A trailer dropped on the PlayStation official YouTube channel, as well as a tweet, an official tweet from their official channel, promoting this. So that got announced and boom, I was happy again. I was like, cool, we're finally getting this. Uh, I suspected that the reason the original was canceled was because you could buy chips in the game with real money. And I thought Sony were like, whoa, whoa, whoa that's too close to gambling, we're not letting you gamble on our platform, that's a big no-no. So that's the reason I suspected that the original was cancelled for PSVR 1, but now that this is here, or coming, supposedly, or was supposedly coming, uh, I thought, oh, it must have been like a hardware limitation or something, even though it's running on Quest, so I don't see how that could be the case, but maybe it was a motion control thing, I don't know. But now if you look at that trailer, if you look at that tweet, they're they both, well, the trailer has been unlisted or delisted, whatever you want to say, and the tweet has been deleted. So one of two things has happened. Either Sony jumped the gun and they announced it too soon, which, I mean, even if they did, you know, just roll with this, I think would be the way to go instead of removing this. And the other option is that, you know, <laughs> the announcement or whatever caught the attention of maybe a Sony higher up and they're like, hold on a sec, not this fucking game again. I thought we got rid of it last time. What's it doing back here again? I won't allow gambling on my platform. Mr. Sony talking, by the way. Get it out of here. And they grabbed it by the scruff of the neck and threw it out the back and, you know, dusted the hands off like that afterwards. It is another interesting wrinkle in the tale. The legend at this point, the myth of PokerStars VR on PSVR 
well, two now, I suppose. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on Poker Stairs. I hope there's more hijinks to come in the future. I hope it releases, like if like you can buy it for like an hour and some people get it and then it gets pulled just for the crack, just for the lols at this point, you know, just because, you know, it's, this is how this is going. It's a joke, it's a meme. But in all seriousness, I do wanna play that game. So I hope it actually, you know, hasn't been pulled permanently and maybe there was some kind of issue that can be fixed relatively quickly and it'll be back up before we know it. I believe as well it's a free to play game so and that's how they do make their money I, uh, but yeah it is a kind of a it feels a bit icky to do that although it's a free to play game so that's how they gotta make their money they gotta earn their bread somehow and if I do have you know fun with the game if I'm enjoying it a lot then maybe I wouldn't mind throwing a few stacks in exchange for a few stacks if you know what I mean. And uh, with that, I will end this video and we'll see how this was in terms of audio quality, in terms of, you know, everything. And this is more for me than it is for you, but if you were interested in Poker Stars, then hopefully you got something out of us. Uh, thank you for watching this video, if you've made it this far, lads and ladies, and maybe I'll put some Decepticon music over this, and if I do, then thank you Decepticon for letting me use your music in all of my videos. And it's good music, you know? So if you want to check him out, you can find his link in the description where you can find him on Spotify, Bandcamp, all these places. And with that, I will end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully in the next video you watch from me, it'll be a bit more of a high production value setup compared to what you're looking at right now where it's kind of a, just an awkward square pasted onto a random image. But there you go, you'll have that. Thanks for watching, as I said, and I'll see you in the next one. Please stay nice and moist.